Hey guys, Jonathan Mozart here for JM Sports 100, the JM Sports Show. How is it going? I am here to preview the action for week 3 in the 2015 NFL season. In this video, we are going to take a look at the matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Carolina Panthers. The Saints come into this game 0-2 and are 0-1 on the road. The Panthers come into this game 2-0 and are 1-0 at home. The big, big story that uh, there was some uncertainty and then today it was made official. Drew Brees, for the first time since joining the New Orleans Saints in 2006, is going to miss a start. So uh, Drew Brees has a bruised rotator cuff on his throwing shoulder and will not get the start against Carolina on the road this weekend. Uh, Luke McCown is going to get the go uh, instead. And this New Orleans team has not looked great. Uh, they didn't look great in week one. They really didn't look good last week uh, against Jameis Winston and the Buccaneers. Meanwhile, they're going up against a Carolina team that is really beat up, but has looked pretty good and has done a good job overcoming the injuries. Calvin Benjamin, uh, the first two weeks I didn't pick, I haven't picked Carolina yet this year because I keep waiting for the, that Calvin Benjamin injury to really hurt them, and it hasn't. Uh, one injury that they do not have, or one guy that they uh, are not likely to have again would be Luke Keekley. He got hurt in the first game of the season, settled the game against Houston last week, and is not likely to play uh, again uh, this week either. However, he has, uh, they have really found a, a decent person to, uh, to take his place who has played well in A.J. Klein. He's, um, they've only allowed 17 points for the last six quarters. That's not uh, too bad um, without Keekley. But the Saints offense is just in a lot of trouble right now. They're not running the ball well, which as I'm recording these uh, previews for this week, I realize I'm, I'm saying it a lot. You know, certain teams not running the ball well. The Saints another one with Mark Ingram who are not running the ball well. They're averaging about 79 yards a game, 79 rush yards a game, and that's just not going to get it done. I don't think Carolina's a great team. I think eventually they are going to struggle a little bit. You know, last year they started 2-0, and fell to 1-8-1, and went to that stretch there, and, and still won the division uh, in, in what was a rough NFC South last year. And I do expect them to falter a little bit, but, you know, I, expect, I honestly expected Carolina to beat the Saints on the road without Drew Brees close. I'm really confident about that now uh, without Drew Brees, period. So I do have the Panthers getting the win against the Saints. We are 1-0 and on the week already. We did have the Giants beating the Redskins on Thursday Night Football. They did that. We are 14-19 and on the year, most of which comes from a rough week last week in Week 2, where we only went 4-12. and We are 7-83, 4-64, and 3 lifetime. Don't forget to like the Jam Sports Show page on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Links, as always, are in the description. And that is going to do it for me. I am Jonathan What's up for Jam Sports 100 and the Jam Sports Show. You've been watching a preview of the Carolina Panthers New Orleans Saints game, and I will see you guys later.